So um, the blame game. We're all in a game. Life is a game. And we get to play it however which way we choose. And so what happens with the blame game is... Oh, what is the blame? What is blame and why is it actually quite useful? Um, I love the blame game when I'm coaching clients because it, it means that we get to ascertain certain things. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. The other one just disconnected. So sorry. Um, so the blame game is really interesting. It's, it's, it, it harbors so many wonderful attributes for us to play witness to and for us to set as guideposts um, on our trajectory forward. So the blame game is finding a problem that feels limited, um, but, and we find it ourselves. We are the ones that create these problems, whether it be for our, from our family, our partner, our work, our medical history. It's like it's never your fault. Um, there's no point in doing anything about it because you're not in the control. You know, someone else, something else is in control of your blame game. Um, you know, I can't eat healthy because my partner and, and my family would upset and stress them and be too, put too much hassle upon the rest of the world. So I can't do better because it's out of my control. Many of us can relate to that, I know. Um, I've done it myself many, many times. So that part of the blame game is really easy. You know, you're aware, I'm aware that I do this thing and I blame other things for my stuff, but I can't take ownership of the problem because then if I can see my part in it, then I can act, if my part of being blamed, then I can still remain victim to that blame. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, you know, it's like when we, we really want to bring people into that ability to start owning the game that we're playing, the part that we play in that game, and then using that as a great tool of awareness on how we can move forward. Because like I always say, we are all 100% different and none of you should be attacking any problem the same way. But we also want to make sure we're constantly in integrity. We want to be finding the resistance, and I'm going to discuss that in a minute as well, and pushing against that. So coming out of just the blame game, let's move into the next phase. So it's like naming and claiming. How many of you are a victim to this situation? So naming and claiming. I know what my problem is. That's you. I'm talking to you. I know what my problem is. I know what I'm doing is really bad. Um, I know that I'm disappointing myself. Uh, I, I feel really bad that I'm doing this to myself. I know what's wrong and I'm aware of it. And it makes me feel better and feel, feel better and look better if I know the problem. But yet I'm not willing to take that ownership and step up. I'm not willing to go that further step and remain accountable to what I've created and what I am allowing. Sounds familiar, yeah? Some of you might be in transition number two. Put your hands up. Okay, so then we move into transitioning from naming to gaming. Okay, so what happens in gaming? Sounds about right. Yeah, thanks, Des. So um, transitioning from naming to gaming. So we're all in a game. Please stop trying to deny the fact that you're in a game. Life is a game. It just depends how you choose to play it and which um, weaponry. Well, it's pretty brutal, but yeah, which weaponry you choose to play with. So... Naming to gaming is like I totally saw that I triggered that you know the trigger of the my 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 stressful workload means that I'm going to go home and because my family doesn't feel like they're all connected because I feel like uh, there's no balance at home because I feel like uh, everything is not on my time I'm going to eat the chocolate that's my trigger I know that that's going to happen today so I know I'm going to eat the chocolate um, but I just couldn't stop myself from eating the chocolate because I had the bad day because everything happened that I couldn't control does that make sense hi Brian so. The, the naming to gaming is like, I totally know what my triggers are. I totally know what my response is to my triggers, but I just couldn't stop myself. Why is that? It's because we're not willing to take the ownership of the entire situation. Get it? So it's about naming it, claiming it. You're not settling for it, but it, you don't yet have the tools to do anything about it. Does that sound familiar for most of you? So then we come into playing full out. And what does that look like? So that looks like, um, oh, thank you, Brian. Everything is going very well. Thank you, thank you. So then we move into the, the feeling, the resistance. So we all get resistance in every change, every direction that we do, every new paradigm that we shift into. And it's feeling that resistance. And my girlfriend, Laura, spoke about this this morning in her group live, was we are all going to have resistance. Whenever we change from point A to point B, there will always be a deep resistance. But it's your choice as to whether or not that resistance keeps you stuck in the game of naming and blaming, or are you going to use that resistance to be aware, 
that you're hitting a stick point that you get to be with high integrity high energy and knowing your worth on where you're going and what you're creating and you get to feel that resistance and use it as a beacon a tool to propel yourself forward, to understand that it's a momentary uh, pain. It's the same as ripping a Band-Aid off. It's the same as getting waxing done. It's the same as, um, oh, this is a fun one. Same as plucking your nose hair. You pluck one hair, it's caned. You get them all out at once and you don't really notice. <laughs> anyway, so filling in the resistance, knowing that it's going to be hard sunshine. Nothing good ever came free nothing good ever came super easy life can be with ease and flow please don't please don't drop that life can be with ease and flow but you will always have to do the work whether it's internal whether it's external whether it's in your vicinity if it's cleaning out your home if it's making your bed living with high integrity will be the hardest work you will ever have to do because living with high integrity means you have to do the resistance stuff you have to do this stuff daily to ensure that you are growing to a greater capacity of where you're meant to be so pushing through the resistance pushing through the stick point pushing past the blame game and taking full ownership of everything that you're here to create everything you're desiring and wanting is on the other side of pushing past that resistance resistance is amazing it's a great game it's like you're playing in a game board what is it donkey kong or whatever it is you know he's running along running along running along comes to a brick wall he can jump it he can blow it up he can try and crawl under i don't know what he does i don't play the game but but you know he comes to the obstacle and you've got all these buttons that you get to choose to push so which button are you pushing, my loves? Are you pushing the button that bounces you backwards? Are you doing the same movement into the damn wall and it's not working and you're wondering why? It's about taking ownership of what buttons you are pushing. Ultimately, my friends, we all have that controller in our hands. And it's our choice as to which buttons we choose to push. It's our choice as to whether we learn from that lesson. And the funny thing is, is when you take time inside yourself, when you take time in the, the, the quiet moments to really reflect on you and your life and who you are creating, it really becomes the Donkey Kong game. You really do get to sit back and play witness to that screen. You get to play witness to the actions, the reactions, the, the ease, the flow, where you put the hard work in and where that shows up in your life. You get to play witness to that. But please remember, please, please remember that you have the controller in your hands. The buttons are your choice. So choose wisely. Because the sad, I'm not going to end on this. The sad point is every game has an end. So don't you want it to be the winning game? Because unfortunately, like Donkey Kong, we don't get a rerun. This is the game. So track yourself, check yourself, measure yourself, and allow yourself to push the right buttons, play the right game, own your shit, and always progress because you have a chance. And luckily, every day, every moment is a consequence of 30 second allotments. And the choice you make in each of those 30 seconds can either make or break the next. And you get to choose how it affects the next. So Choose your game, choose your buttons, and allow yourself to reflect and really be honest with yourself. Are you playing the blame game or are you playing the game of life where you get to recognize, reflect, and grow? So I'd love to hear your tidbits and what you took away. Sorry for those who are just joining in now. It's well worth going back and watching.